I am deeply indebted to all the people who make recording, mixing, mastering, and video editing tutorials on YouTube, and this video I'm making in the spirit of sharing, but also in a small attempt to pay them back if they're watching. Because I noticed while watching these videos, these people who are professionals who work like 6, 8, 10, 18 hours a day at their craft have very ergonomically incorrect, inefficient, limiting keyboard setups. And I can't give them any pointers on their profession, but if there's one thing I do know, it's how to make life easier for myself. So uh, maybe you can benefit from my setup. Here it is. I'll start with the uh, trackball. People who don't like using trackballs are probably people who haven't spent more than 10 minutes using one or who haven't bothered to set it up in settings. Um, I see people all the time with a mouse like moving their arm like this and the delicate control moving a wrist back and forth like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop doing that. With a trackball, you just put your hand down. That's it. And you move with your fingers and you can move the cursor violently across, just throw it across the screen, but you also have really delicate control with it at the same time. Plus, in the case of uh, this Kensington Expert mouse, you can program each of these buttons. So this is always left click and right click in all programs, but you can control all the other ones. You can control this one, this one, these two together and these two together to do any keystroke or combination or shortcut that you want. And not only that, but the shortcuts are program dependent. So that means if you are in Safari, like I am now, when I press this, it goes back a page and this is forward a page and this is left click and right click and these two together for most applications access my paste copy paste history from copy clip which i highly recommend so but in my daw digital performer these two together are like a cut paste rewind left click right click so depending on the program that you're using you can program uh, different shortcuts Amazing. On this mouse, this scroll wheel doesn't really work very well. But that's where this comes in. The trackpad, this trackpad is amazing. I do all my scrolling and zooming with the trackpad. And the beauty of having these together are that you can use all the shortcuts and the uh, cursor control with your right hand while scrolling and zooming with your left hand. Plus, rather than getting tendonitis by using the same hand all the time, you can just use the other hand for whatever task you're doing. Plus, um, you know, let's say you're recording a guitar part with a mic right here and you want to control something in the DAW. Well, you just do this. Instead of, instead of this. So having these two together to work together is really amazing. Almost equally amazing, although you wouldn't know it just by looking at it, is having this keyboard separated. I mean, having this keyboard separated. I used to use this, but look, if I use this, look at how far my trackball would have to be out to the side. What do we use more, numbers or the trackball? The trackball. So why not have the trackball closest to the keyboard and have the numbers that we use less out to the right? I do use the numbers for like play, pause, record, and stuff like that in my DAW and for entering numbers when there's a lot of numbers and multiplication and stuff like that. But these two are right in the middle, easy to control and this is off to the side. And with the trackball here, I can actually hit the return button with my thumb. Now, all of these except the trackball are uh, wireless. 
They don't have to be. I wouldn't mind if they weren't. But there is an advantage to that which adds extra versatility. It's that so these panels that stop reflections while I'm mixing, I use when I'm recording vocals or guitar by putting them around here in my room and then I stand behind them to stop uh, sound from the uh, window and from the computer. I don't want to come out from behind the screens to touch the computer between every take. So what I do is I take this and this and I put it on a shelf over there and I can just undo, rewind, record. Undo, rewind, record. I don't even have to see the screen. I just know that that's, that's what's happening. So extremely versatile uh, with the wireless. Extremely versatile being able to control the cursor while doing something else, holding an instrument, holding a guitar, playing a keyboard, you know, holding a, a wind instrument and being able to control with either hand. Ergonomically correct because the controllers are very close to each other. Your hand is rested, it doesn't move anywhere, not moving your shoulder anywhere. And one more thing with this setup is that this is almost, looks almost a 90 degree angle to control everything. And the computer screen is right at top of the computer screen is right at eye level. So I think you'll agree that it's really ergonomically correct and super versatile. So maybe give some or all of it a try. I hope it helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.